Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be building kind of like rafters for our hut. And I'm going to use these tent poles, these old tent poles I got. And what I'm going to do is, like I'll have a piece of steel here, like another straight piece. It's going to go into here, like this. I got some cutting to do. And then I'll have my peaked roof. So it should be what I need it to be. Close to it. Not building a house. Not building a cabin. Not building a super shelter. Just building a little hut to hang out in. So, let's go ahead and we'll get on to this. And uh, like I said, I've got some cutting to do because these, like here they have, I'm going to be using these and they got that spring inside there. I'm going to have to cut that spring and I'll have to cut a couple of these off. Well, most of them, all of them is going to have to be cut off. Um, and then that'll go in there. And then like. As you can see they're not the same size because this slides into one so I'm gonna make sure they're all the same size so I can get you know get my peak where it needs to be you know what I mean so all right first I got to do some measuring and then I'm going to use my cutoff wheel here my grinder my four inch grinder We'll start making the same size. Um, then I'll show you what I mean over there once we get this kind of set up. I'll do one. I'll show you one the process, and then um, I'll uh, I'll show you what how it's going to be over there. Uh, I'm probably going to not today. I don't think today, but I'm probably probably going to have to get my welder out and tack these onto those. Yeah, it's 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 cheating, I know, but so is a lot of them guys that are out in the middle of nowhere and they're using chainsaws and they're getting stuff from the sawmill. You know, it's not really cheating. I'm just building a, you know, I'm just building a little hut in the backyard. So anyway, that's probably what I'll be doing with that. So it'll be nice and, and sturdy and solid. So let me get what I'm going to do set up here. And we'll go from there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all these chains off. It's a shame I don't have a vise out here, but that's all right. We'll make do, right? Let's get this plugged in plug is behind you I know I'm bumping the camera and stuff but you know I'm not a filmmaker I'm a YouTube I'm a youtuber so now let's see if I can do this without it getting caught up in that chain and breaking something like me okay so let's get this down here And that's that now I'm gonna do that to the rest of them I got a few more down here what two more down here that I've got to do that too and I can figure out which ones which one of these I'm going to use which ones are going to be for other things so hang tight guys so hopefully you can see where I'm going with this there's my little rafters it's gonna be be a lot higher than I expected or wanted but that's fine because this is the materials I've got laying around um, I think the sides I think I am going to buy some of that bamboo reed it comes in a roll it's six feet high and 16 feet long so well they call it width but yeah so um, big mosquito I gotta get my mosquito spray on that's what I was talking about in my other video but yeah there so 
Um, and I two will get me all the way around that thing. I'll have to remeasure again, and I'll let you know if I was wrong. But I believe two will get me all the way around uh, the sides, front and back, because it's you know it's 30 feet in length, and that's coming out to about 31 feet all the way around it. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, it'll cost like 75 bucks for both rolls. So, all right, I got a memory card light blinking, so hang tight, guys, and I'll take you over there and I'll show you, show you, so you get an idea of what's going to happen up there. Okay, guys, so this is kind of what I'm going for. So that's what I was talking about in my thermocell video the other night. Uh, here it is, two o'clock in the afternoon. I was getting bit up. I had to go put spray on. So. You know, I'm going to be going for something like that. I'll put one down the center on the front one, one down the center on the back one, and then lengthways down the center of the top, and that'll hold it, like, from, from doing this. So that's my plan. And I think the best way to do it would be to get my welder out here and tack weld these. I think it's probably what I'm going to do. But I need to go get my welder and bring it out here, so. Um, then I'll probably just tack this all together because it's just put in there with, um, it's just got just kind of like a, a tent pole, you know, so. I do have some screws. I may try to put some self-tappers in it, see if that helps. I'll do that first. And then, then I'll probably get my welder out here get up there and start tacking some welds on stick around more fun to come okay guys so I'll try to put this up here by myself and clamp it sure it's in the middle Okay, now let me check the other side. Oh wow, that's that's almost dead on. Now this welding job is going to be bad. And I know it's going to be bad because this welder is horrible. Um, just a 110, just a 110 wire feed. Nothing special. Let's see if we can get this tacked. I do have my water hose right over here just in case so let's try to tack this
Okay. Yeah. Um, the wells ain't as bad as I thought they was going to be. And I'm sure you guys can't see a daggone thing, can you? But hopefully you've seen what I'm, I'm getting at here. Now I'm going to go around the other side and tack it before I pull that off of there. Because I don't know how well that's going to... I don't know how well that's going to hold up. So let me get my... Let me get my uh, ladder around there. And I'll get up there and we'll see... Hopefully that's in the middle. <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not building a house or a garage or super shelter. I'm building a hut. So let me get that around for you. Okay. As Mike would say, let's give it a goo. Some of you guys will get that. All right, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish welding them up. I did burn a hole in that one over there um, on the other side and maybe even right here on the bottom. Um, but that's what you're dealing when you're dealing with flux corn, you don't have any gas. Well, this welder doesn't take gas, so it's just meant to do little tiny projects like this. It ain't meant to be pretty, so. If you're planning on welding something pretty, don't do it with one of them. It's a Harbor Freight thing, so. All right, guys. I'll be back with you in a second. Hang on. Okay, guys, so I got that up there. I forgot to hit record. I'm sorry. So I got four more of these left. I'm going to put them every two feet. That's 10 feet long. So I'm going to put one every two feet in between there. 
and that'll keep that from sagging. It's still still not quite straight, but it don't have to be perfect. You know, it's <laughs> I still gotta fix that down there on the bottom, but um, yeah, it's gonna be all right. So I'll set you up here, and you can watch me set the the other rafters in <laughs> and uh, I'll get them welded up this part here that's sticking out is going to be cut off right there I am going to have a little porch on it monkey likes porches I'm going to go from here out to here just a little ways just enough to put a chair under so it looks kind of cool I'm going to use probably those pieces for that uh, I don't know. I got some steel galvanized. That's what this is. It's steel with just galvanized coating. That's a lot of reason why it's popping and stuff because I didn't really grind it. But it just got to be tacked on, you know. Um, it's I'm not putting shingles or anything like that up there. It's it's all going to be palm fronds. So <laughs> you know, it's just going to be just going to be a little little hut. So let me get you set up here and I'll get them set up on top and then I'll slide them down and measure them and I'll get them tacked in place. Hopefully I won't forget to hit record this time. He's going to Jacksonville. Well, where? Jacksonville to stay with his friend. He ain't going to stay long. I knew he wasn't staying long. Oh. Hope he didn't get mad, but you know what I mean? He parked right on the damn leech field. $3,200. We don't even park there. <laughs> It's a lot higher than what I wanted, but that's all right. I think it'll be nicer. You could put some little lights up in there. If you oh, want. it's going to have a lot of lights in it. You need a lot of lights. I could buy those string lights. Yeah, we're going to put lights inside there. Battery go. powered. Yeah. I mean, we got electric, but... Yeah. I mean, this, I figure, will take a little bit, but it'll give you more videos to do. And everybody's doing these damn shelters, but I have never seen anybody do a dog shelter. I haven't either. So, there you go. Yeah, they're doing these super shelters. This is not a super shelter. It's not a super shelter, guys. Mm -hmm. This is just a hut. So, <laughs> I was like, oh, this will work. This will be cute. Yeah, we're building it out of a dog kennel. <laughs> yeah. It's better than it's sitting here. Rotting away. You know, if we was on five acres of land... I would have enough wood I could just build one but then again I'm doing everything I'm doing the same thing everyone else is, and this, is this is a little different yeah. so and it's just for fun yeah well you never know we get tired of it we might use it for storage or something storage if you yeah get tired of it I yeah I'll, I'll use it for storage I'll store my little ass inside there Okay guys, so we got all the rafters in. <laughs> um, of course they ain't by any means perfectly straight, but they're straight. They're pleasing to the eye is what we used to call it 
uh, when something don't have to be perfect. You know, like trailer frame would have to be perfect because if it ain't perfect, then it's not going to go down the road right. But certain things don't have to be perfect. It's got to be pleasing to the eye. And that's what that's going to be. Seems a little rickety right now, but I still got to weld all the corners. And I'm also going to um, make some stakes wherever I put them out of some of this leftover um, fencing poles. I'm going to drive them in the ground and I'll weld onto the poles so that way it, you know, because this thing's going to be light, man. I mean, a couple hundred pounds tops, you know what I mean? So, and then it'll be all nice and sturdy and solid. But, yeah, it, it's there. I'm going to call it quits for today and go in the house for a little bit and warm up. My helmet wasn't darkening right, so half of that time I was welding with my eyes closed. And also, that thing or something wrong with it as soon as you make contact before you even pull the trigger if that touches metal it's starting to weld so uh, I don't like that you know so if you just get close and you're not ready yet and that and your wire touches the metal you know so I'm sure my eyes are going to be burning and scratchy tomorrow it feels like feels like you got sand in it you guys that have welded know what I'm talking about um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know why it does that, but yeah, you don't have to press that, that button. That's just feeding wire, man. It's, it's, I don't know if somebody did that or if there's something wrong with it, but I don't even know if I'm going to mess with it. It's all right for what I do, but one of these days I'm going to have another Miller 212, uh, you know, gas welder. This is not a gas welder. It's just a 110 wire feed. Uh, yeah, what they call them, the Miller Maddox or something. That's what I had at work, and man, you can run a bead on anything, man. You can't run a bead on these things. I've seen guys do it, and it looks okay, but you can still tell, you know, if you didn't see them doing it, you could say, man, that's a damn nice weld for, you know, just having a little 110 wire feed, um, which I have done before, but man when you get used to a good welder and a good helmet and you know man you can just lay down beads all day long this thing would have been done a long time ago but so the squirrel over here behind me messing around he's been watching me weld so anyway guys thanks for watching we got that much of it done like i said this is getting cut off i did tell monkey because i said it's not going to be a porch she said it's not going to be have a it's not going to have a porch I said, that's not going to be the porch. She goes, oh, I was hoping you'd put a porch on it. I said, I know. That's why I already told the camera. <laughs> well, I said, that's why I already told YouTube. I'm going to put a porch on here. So that's getting cut off there. Um, so anyway, guys, yeah, it's, it's just going to be fun, you know. Um, down the walls, I may, I think I've got enough. I may put like every couple feet like I did up there. You know, and I'm going to put an up right here and one in the back and then down the sides and maybe one in the center on the back. If I got enough pipe, I think I might have. We'll just have to see and play it by ear. But yeah, it's getting there. So I'll show you real quick. Uh, I did burn through a couple times, like three times, but not. I thought every one of them I'd be burning through, but it didn't. So there's what we're looking at. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Down through there. See, there's kind of a whoop de doo right in dead center of that, but that's okay. I kind of screwed up there, but that's all right. It'll be fine. Yeah, turned out okay. This one was over just a little bit too much that'll be all right I can trim that off and cut it down or cut the welds and move it I don't know we'll see it'll be fine all right guys well anyway thanks for watching I appreciate it <sighs> hopefully you guys had a great weekend 
and we'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, Legend, I'm gone for now. One last look. You guys take care.